Now we're back on uh, the rocket stove. Let me shut my uh, blower off. Heating up the shop here a little bit. Just kind of show you what I've been doing. The last video I had, I cut the tank in half. If not, there's the top half and there's the bottom half. This is the uh, exhaust where it's going to come out at. And this is the base. See that big old notch cut out well. And this is the table that I've welded up. And uh, this is where all the fire bricks are going to sit. And there's all the fire bricks stacking over there. So it's going to be, uh, I'll show you once we get further along, but um, anyway, this uh, dimension here that uh, I did was, it's a foot, sticks out a foot, and uh, yeah, from the edge of the tank back in, it's about, yeah, what is it, 12 and 3 quarters, something like that. So, anyway, I plugged up the hole in the bottom. <coughs> There's a, a little hole down there I got to plug in the outside with. But I cut the hole in the back, stuck that in. I see there's a hole right there I'm going to have to patch. But uh, there's the plug. And then this, I'm just using it for support right now. But anyway, there was a uh, there, hole in the top. So I welded a plate over the top of that and then I plugged the rest of the holes. So anyway, that's going to go over the top. And uh, anyway, I'll bring you back when we got more done, but just cut some pieces here. These are uh, going to be supports. They're going to sit right about there. They go up about 31 inches. And I'm going to put one on this corner and one on that corner, 31 inches. And then out here, I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm only going to make these about 15 inches. And uh, because the uh, <coughs> this will be the burning chamber area right out here, where uh, the bricks when I get them all fastened up. And then anyway, I want to put a piece up here and a piece over there up and uh, so I'll I'll bring you back when we get to that but anyway that's the progress on the rocket stove well there's the pieces in place got the 31 inch I will have bricks going clear up to the top of that and then bricks going up clear to the top of this and I'm debating whether I want to put another uh, support here. Probably will. And uh, same thing over here. Something going up to support that <coughs> off. So that the bricks don't want to fall. But this part here, this is the chimney inside the tank. But it's going to be wrapped with this. That's a 12 inch piece of ductwork. And uh, anyway, that's what we're going to try. And I know this is not the right stuff to use. This is ductwork. This isn't stovepipe. But I could not find anything reasonable and it's like <clears throat> it's galvanized so it will have to be all burn off this is I'm going to use this as stove pipe I don't know if it'll what it'll do but I will definitely burn it outside for a while this will not get hot this piece here and uh, I mean not hot enough to burn the galvanize off and theoretically neither should this and even the 
the outside exhaust. From what I've seen on YouTube, uh, they just don't get that hot. So we'll see. I'll have, uh, still going to burn it outside though. But anyway, we'll get a video of that when we get to it. So stay tuned. Well, we got all the bricks in. Had to do a few cuts right down there. That little tiny one. Then I had to, for some odd reason, these didn't want to fit. They were too wide. They should have fit right in there. I, I don't understand that. But anyway, we trimmed them up. This is kind of the idea. Now, this stuff will all be exposed. This is what they call the burning tube. This is where you put all your your combustibles. And see, then I left the end open here. I'm going to take and uh, put a couple pieces of small angle up here on each side. And then I'm going to take a uh, flat plate and slide it down in there. And then what I plan on doing is put some holes in that flat plate. And with a little cover thing that I can for a damper. But anyway, that'll be my clean out. You see I can get up in there and clean all the stuff out. Just pull that plate up. And uh, anyway, um, obviously the top is not on it. I've got to notch that top because right here is a miscalculation on my part, but that's all right. It'll work. So I'm going to cut that up, notch, and uh, then I've got on the side, you can see there's got a gap there. And uh, you can see, you got my finger through there. Anyway, what we're going to do with this is we're going to stuff that full of uh, that asbestos rope that they put in there. And, We'll seal it up. If that isn't good enough, then I'll just weld an angle or something up in there. But, uh, yeah, just got to let everything dry. I bought the caulk, and I got two t tubes of tan, and I got one of black. The black looks like crap. But this is all inside. You'll never see this. This stuff out here, you'll see. So... But anyway, <clears throat> kind of interested to get this thing finished. I'm going to let it sit here tonight and dry. But uh, they call that the J-tube. You can see why they do. And uh, anyway, we'll uh, get it all together and see how she burns.